What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bootleg Studios of Rant Roller Sports. I'm glad to have you back here. Please like, share, and subscribe. And allow me to geek out a little bit here. And I welcome you to the story of Jalen Wolf. Now, Jalen Wolf plays for the Vancouver Ravens in the Western Conference of the NBA. Uh, he was drafted from Nevada. Uh, he's a point center. All right. This is his rookie year. And uh, I'm going to take you through exactly what I'm talking about here. So you can get a full look at Jalen here. Where's number 36? He's tatted all up. He got the leg sleeve going. He's got a, a left ankle brace going. Seven foot one, 232 pounds. I'm going to take you through his attributes here. Not nothing to snooze at, really, folks. Driving layup 66. Now, this is ratings from 0 to 100. All right. So, uh, as you can see, as I go down the list, if you can see it on the screen, I don't have to read it out to you. Let me know in the comment section if you couldn't see these stats on the screen. I don't want to be repetitive reading out a bunch of numbers. But I'll take you through his attributes here slowly. All right, that's his offensive attributes. And the highest number here, and it's not very impressive, close shot is a 79. Uh, notables here that he has a bunch of ratings in the 70s, which is okay, which is good, but it's not great. And the highest rating he has on offense here is the 79 with the close shot, 79. But he can make a three at 64. He can make a mid-range shot occasionally at 59. He's good at drawing fouls at 73. That's okay. That's decent. But this is what I want you to notice here. He's a 7'1 center with 72 ball handling, 72 pass IQ, 72 pass accuracy. And that's going to be very important as I show you this character going forward. Remember what his ball handling is, 72. All right, remember what his draw foul is, 73. And notice, driving layup, 66. Driving dunk at 58. So not too impressive, right? Let's keep moving forward to his defensive attribute. 77 for rebounding, that's pretty good. Not great, but it's good, right? Interior defense, 61. That's okay. Barely passing, right? Perimeter defense, 72. That's really good for a 7-foot-1 center to be able to move his feet on the perimeter. Block is a pedestrian, 62 for a 7-foot-1 guy. Steel is at 57. And while I'm showing you these numbers, it's going to make sense in a little while. There's athletic attributes. Lateral quickness, 74. That's excellent for... A seven foot one center. His speed, 74. Wow, we're talking about David Robinson territory here at this for speed at the center position. Speed with the ball. This is key. 74. Pay attention to that and remember that. Acceleration, 59. Not terrific, but good for center. Vertical 65 is pedestrian. Strength 56. That's below average. Stamina, 99. This is key. He's seven foot one, two hundred thirty-two pounds, and he can run for days. Ninety-nine stamina, and ninety-nine hustle, so he can die for balls. Better than pretty much anybody, die for loose balls, get on the ground. That type, the Dennis Rodman thing. Okay. Durability. He's pretty durable. Most of these are eighties and nineties. Um, I don't have any lower scores than that so he's pretty durable right let's go to his mentals 80 in pass perception defensive consistency 66 help defense 66 offensive consistency 72 it's good but it's not great right miscellaneous is intangibles is good 71 but you know he's a rookie right potential 
is a 90. Keep that in mind. Now, I'm bringing you this. I'm showing you this, excuse me. And I'll show you these. Anyone that's familiar with NBA 2K video games knows that they started developing these things called badges. And these are basically power-ups or boosters to their what whatever skills they already have. And this is his personality badges, right? He's an enforcer. He's friendly. He's a team player. High work ethic. He keeps it real versus the pat on the back. And he's expressive. He, he speaks his mind. He's a leader. Media ringmaster. Even better, he, he loves the media. He's somebody like Shaq, right? Warm weather fan. He likes to play in warm weather. Finance savvy. That means he's about his money. Oh, boy. He's going to want big dollars when he becomes a free agent. Right, and these are his various badges for his attributes. I won't go through all of them here because it'll be a tedious thing explaining all of them what they mean, but I'll go through a couple. Rim protector means he's good at blocking shots, right? He, got a, he has a bronze badge, they have silver, and then there's gold. So he's, he's at the beginning level badge, rim protector, pick dodger, chase down artist. Remember LeBron invent helped uh, sensationalize the chase down block. And he has a bronze badge in that. Defensive leader, bronze badge, heart crusher, uh, Hall of Fame badge for that. Um, anyway. Let's move it along here. Right? Lob City finisher, bronze badge. Just to give you a couple of examples. Brick wall badges, how well he sets a pick. All right, rebounding badges like the worm, like that's I'm pretty sure they named that after Dennis Rodman. Okay, allow me to geek out here, folks. I'm just giving you some background. All right, he has a rookie contract right now, it's for four years with a two year team option after the first two years. Right, he's making very little money. Right, he's a rookie. All right. Now, let me take you to his personality quirks. He likes to play for a winner. It's very important. His financial security is extremely important. He's about his money. He is not loyal at this point. I didn't change anything. I could edit everything, but I didn't change that because I wanted it to be as true to life as possible. He was drafted number 26 in the first round. And I'm going to explain to you guys what I actually do. Well, first of all, let me explain to you how he's on the Vancouver Ravens. This is an expansion team. This was an official team in the NBA 2K. When you go online and download different teams, they have everything like that user designs uploaded. They have everything you can imagine. And this looked like an official team. So I uploaded this jersey and this, this team. And then you have to go through what's called an expansion draft. Where you select eight players that teams, no teams, excuse me, can protect up to eight players. But everybody else is fair game. So I picked up Draymond Green, Spencer Dinwiddie, Bogdan Bogdanovich, right? Thomas Bryant. I drafted Jalen Wolf this past season, number 26 in the first round. I picked up Paul Millsap in the expansion draft. I just signed Hassan Whiteside in the offseason, giving him a three-year contract for $14 million. Pat Beverly I picked up. In the expansion draft, so did I, uh, Dylan Brooks, uh, Jay Crowder. I picked him up in the expansion draft, as well as Eric Bledsoe. And these other guys here, these miscellaneous guys, Deion Waiters and uh, Kadeem Allen, I picked up via free agency. Okay, so that's that. This is my second year with them. Right? Uh, I'll show you the... the the standings right now 
Right now, we're number one in the Western Conference at 25 and 20. I mean, at 25 and five. The Warriors in second place, the Pelicans in third, the Lakers in fourth, so on and so forth. Right now, we're averaging 124 points a game, and that's not even number one, folks. The Warriors at 127, and we're giving up 104 points a game, which is best in the conference. The worst is the Rockets. They're giving up 124 points a game, folks. It's a different day in basketball. I need y'all to understand that. All right. Uh, we have the biggest differential beating a team by average of 19 points a game, right? We're, we're cooking right now. And I'm going to explain to you why we're cooking. But I want to give some more background into how Jalen Wolf got created. Now here every year while you're playing the season, they show you the upcoming uh, draft class here. And you, I usually scroll through these guys, and to give myself more competition and make the game more interesting, I'll boost the stats, I'll edit the stats of some of these players, right? Say like this guy, uh, for instance, Colin Richmond is a power forward, six foot nine. They say right now he's a finisher. He's not scouted completely. He's only scouted at thirty nine percent, so I don't have all his numbers. But I can go in and edit him. He's a finisher so far from what they've scouted, inside scoring and mid-range uh, scoring. So I could go to him, edit prospect. He's a finisher, right? So I'll go to his attributes and say I want to make him a superstar finisher. Close shot is already high, 86. I'll make draw foul up at almost 80. Post control, I'll put that up to 80. Post took. Driving layup, he's a finisher, right? So let's bring that up to the 94. And where's his dunking? Uh, driving dunk is already 81. It's high. Standing dunk is 84. So he's already ready to go, right? Offensive rebound, and I'll pull that up to about an 80. So he can snatch boards and go back up and dunk it. Right? Defense, I'm not going to touch it because the initial scouting report, all his strengths were on offense. And he, he needs some athleticism, right? 80 in speed, 81 in uh, acceleration. He's already 87 vertical. I'll leave that. I'll put his stamina up to around 88, so he'll be a full official starter. That's it, right? Then I'll go down to his uh, badges. Go to the inside scoring badge, Acrobat. Put that on... Uh, Gold level, fearless finisher, I put it on gold, teardropper, gold, post spin, Hall of Fame. So I mean, he's like Elijah Juan or, or, or Kevin McHale with it in the post, right? Drop stepper, put back boss. You can do all these things, highlight film to make him a, a great inside score. Poster riser, back, back down punisher, rise up, giant slayer. They got all these type of badges or quirks that can make him better at being an inside scorer. So let's say I do that. I come out and complete him. Keep changes and return. Now, he's gonna be much better now and give me a much harder time when he's drafted, but I might not necessarily get to draft him. He may go number one overall and I don't have the number one pick. So that way I'm not rigging it for myself. Now, if I go back to this joker here, Jalen Wolf. Guess what? He's the leading MVP candidate right now. He's averaging 49 points a game, 13 rebounds, four assists, a steal, and almost two blocks. Luka Doncic is number two. Another rookie that I edited, Joel Early, is number three, averaging 25 points and 16 rebounds as a rookie. Holy smokes. LeBron is at number four, and James Harden at number five, uh, MVP candidates. All right? Again, he's averaging 49. Look at his stats for this year. 49 points a game, 13 boards, four assists. Shooting 66% from the floor, 
shooting 43% from three. Wow. 66% from the line, and he's only playing 30 minutes a game, folks. So far this season, we've we've played 30 games, and he's got 23 double-doubles. All right, if I go into the uh, metric stats, the PERs, 56. The efficiency rating, 53. All of you, the guys that keep track of uh, the metric stats, true shooting percentage is 70. I mean, his, his numbers are off the chain. High usage rate at 51. That is true, but he's averaging 50 points a game damn near, so we'll excuse that, right? So anyway, this is going to be the first episode of um, The World of Jalen Wolf. And um, thanks for taking this ride with me. I don't want to bore you guys too much. In the next video, I'll show you guys some game footage and how he's actually averaging this 49 points a game. All right, until next time, this has been Rant Roller Sports. Peace.